So in the last video, I was working on a little Pico Explorer game, a game of Simon for it. And I set up all of the lights on the board. And as we left that last video, I've got all those lights working. And now we were going to put something in the middle of the screen to send messages to the player. I think what I'm going to do is have a little scoreboard in the middle. Well, not a scoreboard, just something to tell you what the game's doing. So let's change that to false. So I want to call it say, because it's where you say something to the player. And let's pass in a string to it. I want it to go sort of in the middle of the screen. So this is going to be a bit fiddly. I'm going to mess about with some X and Y's again, like I did last time. So I'm going to say that X equals int half width divided by two. And Y is equal to this time int of the full height divided by three. So a third of the way down the screen and uh, half of the width of the screen. So there should be a little box in the middle. Do H equals half width. I'll set it as a variable there because I might want to change it. But at the moment, let's pull it in with half width and the width. Let's say that's int height divided by three. So a third of the, the height of the screen again. Set the pen to black. Explorer set pen black. Draw a black rectangle. Explorer rectangle. I probably need to set these up as globals so that they're not recalculated every single time I say this. But again, I'll come back later on and sort that out, hopefully. Rectang rectangle, then x, comma, y, comma, h, comma, w. Now let's set the pen to white, to write the font. Did I have a white? Ooh, I didn't have a white. Add that there. White. All right, so Explorer set pen white. Explorer text, I think it was. So string I've sent in. X plus 10 to give me a little margin into the box. Y plus 10. And then the word wrap is going to be after 15 characters, which I'm just going to guess is about the size of the box. Um, I'll do all false. Then I'll do say. Say hello. And I probably need to do an Explorer update there. All right, let's get this working again. Okay, so oh that hello is a bit bright. So let's set that to, to 200. Whoops, 200, 200. Hello. So I can now say stuff. Now, if I think about it, when I'm setting the screen up, I'm going to draw these and then I'm going to always draw that box. So probably whenever I say anything, I can put the Explorer update into it. So I don't need that there now either. That should. Yeah, so it, it, it will always update the screen. So that's the bulk of my board set up now and I can light up individual ones. Let's work on the attract mode. So the attract mode is without making any sounds, it's going to go around the screen. But first of all, let's do a procedure that lights up one of the blocks. I'm going to call it def light up. Well, let's send the block number in that I want to light up block. And now I'm going to have the block numbers. Now, if you remember, I defined this here and this is going to sort of be my numbering of the blocks. One, two, three, four. So let's say if block equals one, then block A true. That'll just light up the block if it's if I send one into it. Now, later on when I'm playing the game, when the blocks are lit up, I want them to make a sound. So I think I'm going to add the sound to this now. So let's say the tone. So we had to do a tone for this piazzo thing. And I'm going to just do that tone value equals 600 there. OK, so each of these blocks will have a different tone. So there's block one, two, three, four. So one, two, three four and block A, block B, block Y and block X and different tones. Let's do 600, 700, 800, 
900 so that's for each tone now i've got to set the tone up it's going to be explorer this turns the piazzo on set tone tone now i don't always want the tone on so let's let's say sound let's add a sound and that's going to be a another boolean so if sound if sounds active set the tone otherwise i don't want to set the tone while i'm there doing the tones that just something else i think def shh, let's do something that turns it off i'm not sure how to turn it off but let's put it into maybe that'll work well i won't be able to hear it anyway so i set tone really really high when i've been playing with this when i've set tone to zero you can still hear it clicking very slowly so let's do it high so I can light up one now. So I've said hello, light up one with no sound. And this time I will have to do an update. So Explorer update. There, definitely A is lit up. But once A is lit up, really, I need to redo the box. I'll come back to that later. OK, so we're not getting a tone from that. We're not getting a tone because I've not set it to true have i so I'll try this there you go so that's high let's reset it so that that doesn't annoy us so for the track mode though this is going to be false so that's got the bulk of that working obviously if i light something up i'll have to redraw the little save block after it well here for instance i'd have to do it that way around and then hopefully yeah then it gets it in the right place so that's lit up that's lit up a so that code there is working. So let's now work on moving through these. So I'm going to set this as a def attract and I just set it as pass it means that it doesn't do anything at the moment. If I then do attract, it will call that code. So if I stop that as it stands, it now just shows a blank screen. For the attract, I need to move around. So I'm going to move around these four blocks. So I'm going to iterate through those, but I'm not going to use a range. I'm just going to use a variable to go through it on this occasion. So I'll say I is one. So we start off at that first block all false so set everything to to on and i'll say we're in attracting mode so attracting equals true so we use that as a loop that we can jump out of later on well the attracting light up i false with no sound so that does that first one and again in this loop here if i equals four then set i to not i equals i is it i plus plus i don't remember well i'll come back to that if it's not so then say simon press a key it's time sleep one all right so that's the attract mode let's just reset it all stop 104 syntax error oh say simon press a key oh this isn't right i equals i plus one all right simon press a key and there you go notice the problem it lit up there I think I need another all false in there after the times after the time sleep all false that should reset it so I'll try again ah there you go so there's me attract there's me attract thing I want to check for a key press to finish the attract mode so let's quickly do that so def any key and this is going to return a, a, a true or a false if explorer pressed equals false if explorer is is pressed explorer button a what's button a it's not it's explorer dot button a isn't it b and then do re return pressed here instead of sleeping all of this time i'm going to sleep in little intervals while i'm waiting for the key press otherwise if i just put any key there it would wait a second each time before it checked for the key so it might not see whether you were pressing the key or not wait equals 100 and we'll divide that sleep by 100 so we'll check it 100 times instead and while wait is greater than naught time sleep Wait equal wait minus one. If any key, 
then weight equals zero to jump out the loop. I could use break there, but I'm not going to. Tracting equals false. Right, let's stop and reset it all again. Stop and press play. And button A. And there you go, it's finished. All right, so that's got it out of the tracked mode then. So um, I can run that there. We clear the screen, we run a tract and it will just spiral around the screen until a button is pressed. At the moment, that's just uh, any key just looks for that one button. I'll extend that so it works for all the buttons, which is why I wrote it like this. In the next video, I'll get the game to work. It'll generate a sequence and then we have to repeat that sequence.